Hi my family and welcome to this video where it's very early in the morning and I'm in a hurry. It's, let me show you, 6.35 in the morning and I'm getting ready for the work. In front of me I have foundation from Glam Glow and I heard this is going to be a wonderful foundation. This is, it says here, She Glam Complexed Pro. <clears throat> Long lasting breathe, breathable matte foundation. This next level water and sweat proof formula is free of fragrance and packed with non pore clogging ingredients like CBD oil. While also remain, remaining breathable and lightweight on the skin, each face lowing shade loads a semi matte filter like uh, finish for a look that's flawless yet natural every time you apply it. Wear, wear this long wear buildable foundation to the gym or to a night. Um, night out with the girls. It's complexion perfection pro or on matte Pro no matte wear all day or night takes you Okay, <clears throat> sorry for my voice. I haven't like talked um, I'm in a hurry. So I'm going to try this foundation today. I have three shades here three shades uh, I have in shell fair and nude see how many shades they have available on the website they have 15 shades which is an um, okay range it's not perfect but it's okay range and this is very affordable um, I'm going to put it down below I think I paid around seven eight dollars for this I'm going to wear this all day to work and I think I'm going to wear it 12 hours and after that I'm going to do a check-in. Uh, oh wow, look how it comes. This is a very nice packaging. It feels expensive. For $70 this is beautiful packaging, really beautiful. You can see when you open it. Take the shape, it comes in this nice bag. So I'm going to take and shake it. This is fair. It comes with a pump, which I like a lot. There is fair. Oh, that's very light. Maybe I should swatch it on this side instead. Let's swatch it on this side. Fair. Shell. This could work, shell could work, and let's see, this is the nude shade. Hmm. I think, let's go in with the shell, I think, or nude, shell, I think. I don't know if this is going to oxidize. I did watch a couple of videos where talk, people talk about this foundation and it seems to be ox oxidizing a little bit. So I'm going to use shell today. Um, I'm going to prime my face and I haven't even moisturized or anything. I don't know why. I'm s it's so early in the morning. I forget to do that. And usually I do my, usually I do my eyeshadow before. So I'm going to go and do that and when I finish my eyeshadow I will be here back to apply the foundations. Okay, so I'm going to finish the makeup look after I apply foundation but I'm going to prime my face as I usually do every morning. I'm not going to change anything because I still want my makeup to look good. So for me, if I want to try a foundation I should do the same routine because it's a routine that I really like. So if the foundation doesn't really stay, that's the foundation. So I'm going to go in with my under eye primer. And while this is sinking in, I'm going to go in with a mattifying primer in, on my T-zone because I have combination skin and this is helping my oiling controls. I know that th that could affect the foundation, but 
if you have oily skin you already use a mattifying primer and if you have dry skin you will definitely use hydrating so i'm going in with this skin refined zone primer and I, I just want to do a whole video dedicated to this product. This is an old product that's been out there for a long time. But it needs to have its own video. <laughs> I feel like. And I'm going in. This is where I get very oily during the day. Look very greasy. And because I'm working long hours today and I'm going to meet a lot of people. Not meet a lot of people. You know, Corona, we don't meet, but have a like team meeting or Skype meeting. It's not Skype, but it's team meetings. And okay, this is a little bit tacky. While this is sitting, I'm going to go in with my gel primer from Car Cosmetics. Love this primer. This kind of reminds me of the makeup, what's called Hydro Grip Primer from Milk. Not as grip, grippy or tacky as that one. But, oh my god, this really does wonders for my makeup. Just tap that. It's a little bit sticky. Not a lot, but it is a little bit sticky. I'm looking at myself in more of though. Okay, let's go in also with the last product right now. It's my pore filling primer from... And I know plenty of primers, but that's how I do my makeup in the morning especially when I want it to stay. So just a little bit, I'm not going to overdo, but I'm going to press this in here. It's where I have pores. It's very important that you press this product in or else it will just sit weirdly in, on your, in your pores. So now we are going to go to the foundation. Shaking a little bit. I'm going to use two pumps just to see if we can Without this could be a little bit too light for me, but shell. I just felt the other natural, or what it was called, yeah, natural was more yellow on the tone. But I'm going to go in with bronzer and and stuff. Oh, this is looking so nice. So this is going to be like a long wear test. I already went in on the other side because I'm in a hurry, but you know, getting ready for the work, I need to drive my uh, kids to school too across the city. So I feel like I also need to do a one more pump of this foundation. I love the packaging, it feels so expensive. Really nice packaging, and the pump is too also amazing. Feels like a nice quality pump. So didn't, they did an amazing job, I'm pretty myself, they did, uh, they did an amazing job with the packaging, I can say, and definitely with the foundation too. This looks nice. And this looks to be a very nice shade for me. really like how this foundation looks. It looks like my skin, but better. So I'm going to, I could definitely go with two, two and a half pumps, but I went with three just to build up the coverage. So I'm going in with the concealer and I'm using the one uh, e.l.f. E.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer for my under eyes and I'm not going to use a lot. This concealer goes a long way and I really like it. So the concealer went on very smooth. I'm really liking how this is. Look, this looks like my skin. It doesn't really look how I, I, that I have foundation. It looks very, very nice. So I'm going to go and finish rest of my makeup. And right now it's uh, 6.58. So let's see, 7 in the morning. So let's go and I'm going to finish up my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Now, it looks amazing. Not just amazing, it looks more than that. Uh, it looks perfect on my skin. It looks like I have filter. Um, yeah, of course my pores are a little bit showing. That's what it does with every foundation. And I try to hide it, you know, with some... I think I skipped a part with my primer. 
but makeup went on beautifully on top it does oxidize a little bit can you show you I don't know if you can see it does oxidize just a little bit but it's not too much that is bothering me I do prefer my foundation to be a little bit darker because foundations that are just per my perfect skin tone are looking make me look pale and sick so I have been having it on for I powder my eyes 12 I've been having this on for 12 minutes and I'm going to go and continue with my day and see you at the end to see how it looked after a full day of wear. Hi family and welcome back. Now it's almost 7 p.m. here if you don't believe me and this is how my makeup looks like. I haven't touched up, I haven't done anything to my face. Face I'll be working all day and I do look oily but guys my makeup looks so nice it's been looking very good the whole day i've been feeling comfortable in this foundation i haven't even feeling i've been having foundation on and it looks like i just applied it, it does look wearing off a little bit here on my chin but it's because i was doing like this but let's tap off this oil i mean usually i get much much oilier during this day during this time uh, there is a little bit of foundation here on it looks very nice it does now when I dry it looks a little bit cakey here around the nose but actually 12 hours <laughs> wearing this foundation amazing I really love it I really love it I do recommend it it's very affordable it's really really good the packaging is amazing the application went well it hold up pretty pretty good everything else as you can see my highlighter my blush my bronzer it looks really 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 good so I love it love it love it love it so yeah it's when it's been wearing off here too it's because I've been doing like this whole day uh, I don't know if it's waterproof oh maybe it is because when I swatched it here it was very hard for me to remove it it didn't uh, oxidize more I, I think it looks really good I really like this foundation so definitely a win definitely win guys let me know down below if you try this foundation I will try to link it down below I think um, if you can buy it and try it yourself this is very very good especially for oily skin I don't know how it's going to look on normal skin and dry skin but on my combo oily skin it looks wonderful it really this is the truth this is you, you've seen my my phone you've seen time you see the whole thing i don't have any filter i did look oily but i mean it looks really 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 good after 12 hours but guys i won't make this video longer than it has to be um let me know down below if you have any questions i will try to link the foundation down below thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video and i see you in my next one bye guys